Okay, um, thank you for watching and coming to this video. Um, on this video, I'd like to talk about exporting the, um, the tempo information as well as mark marker information um, in the form of an audio file. Um, would that be actually possible? Um, because now, you know, it's, um, it's not involving the MIDI at all. Um, now, so that's actually possible. So this is actually the end result. So let me close this particular window here and we'll start over from the beginning. So, okay, so this will be a typical project that, you know, you would have. Okay, so let me just play this and with a metronome on so you know what's going on. All right, so here we go. Now in a moment, the uh, song will slow down to 68 BPM. Then go faster again. So that's basically it. So and then I added two markers points, slower and faster. I should put another marker to slower here again. Um, but this is for the demo, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so um, so I have this here's MIDI track, but um, just to demonstrate the point, I can export this into audio, and then I can include the tempo change in the marker information. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I have selected the track or the region that is, then go to File menu and export region as audio file, and then I'll say tempo test one that wave let me do that now wave is probably a best format because if especially if you're exchanging this type of information with the PC people wave seem to work the best although probably all of them are okay I will just stay safe and do the wave okay so now okay so what it did was it basically um, bounced a version of the uh, file here um, tempo test one um, onto my desktop here and um, so um, let me now explain how you can actually import this into a new project okay so let's just go start a new project here okay um, empty project okay I'll do the audio um, say stereo here okay now the audio track is here you can see that no tempo or markers in here at the moment okay and then tempo is 120 so um, now select this audio track here go to file import audio file okay and then tempo test um, test I think tempo test right that's what I did right um, and then wave file okay then ask you import tempo information okay press say yes to that import markers information yes okay so now um, we here we have the um, both the uh, tempo uh, map here and um, also this uh, markers import so it's pretty nice um, you can see definitely see the tempo list here and you can see all the numbers are in here all right so then you can actually like on the, I said on last video you can actually cut and paste or select from here create um, and then put this in a, another uh, project uh, for tempo um, so that's pretty much how you would import tempo information just using the audio file okay so that's basically it for this video pretty simple straightforward if you know how to do it alright so I'll uh, see you again have fun